Buona giornata and welcome to my channel. My name is Stefania if you're new here. So today we're going to be playing with the Hindesh Butopsy palette. I, for some reason, was so excited about this palette. I know like reading comments, some people were like, oh, we have all those, blah, blah, blah. And I was just kind of like, there were multiple reasons why I was so excited about this. Um, he is a makeup artist based in Dubai in the Middle East and I really like his work. He also has a great, like he was an artist before he was doing makeup. So just, I really like this concept and it's something that you don't see. I've never seen this in an eyeshadow palette. I have seen it in others, but not an eyeshadow palette. And I just, I've done my whole face with this today. So I'm so excited to get into this review. Please don't forget to subscribe down below, hit that like button, and let's go ahead and jump in to this Butopsy palette. Okay, so this is what the packaging looks like. Very nice and sleek. So, let's go ahead and open it up. And this is what she looks like. So it's nice and long, which is what I wanted, right? Like, I think the whole concept behind this palette, like in terms of like what I was thinking, like I really like that it's almost like a matte black. I like these because they don't get as dirty. Um, but what I like about it is that the pans are big enough for an actual brush. So, you know how some are like, like a normal eyeshadow palette where you'd be like, oh, you can use it on the blush, and blah, blah, blah. And you're like, I can't fit a brush in there. <laughs> um, I don't feel like that with this. So you can actually fit a full size brush in these pans, which is going to be so useful for, you know, trying to use the colors as a contour, trying to use it as a blush. So I am already like super excited about this because I know to a lot of people, they're like, oh, it's just, you know, we have that. And I was like, this looks like the perfect, like, I can, I would love to say travel, but more so like where I can like declutter a lot of my neutral palettes and just have one to like go to, reach to one day when we start traveling again, this would be a great option for that. But like a very quick, like one and done type palette. So obviously we need to see about the formula, but I'm already really happy that the pan size is big enough to fit brushes in because that has always been... It's just a pet peeve when people are like, you can use this one. And I'm like, the eyeshadow is like this big. I'm like, okay. Okay, so I'm going to start, like, I kind of want to do a matte red type look. I am going to start with tan lines. I'm going to dip into probably like right over here. And then if I need to deepen it up, then we have so many, like, we have the, the feel and real like right here where I can deepen up the brown or I can even, I'll probably use like this on my outer V. So these are gonna be like the two colors I use for my crease. The gradients do remind me of, was that, who was that at? I'm gonna use this on my Sonia G brush. So, Kevin Aquan, right? Like the blushes, and I think like even a few of my Marc, Marc Jacobs ones have, um, like the blushes are all gradients, not eyeshadow palettes. I feel like this is my first one where the eyeshadow actually has one. I will say I love Hindesh's like work, um, but it's kind of like Natasha Denona where I'm like, my eye shape is not, it doesn't look like that. You know what I mean? Where like he uses these gorgeous models where I'm just like, they have so much lid space and he does like these very particular, like blown out like looks where it's very uplifting. I got hooded lids, you know? So they don't look as good on me. Like Natasha Denona, I always, appreciate her looks where she does um the makeup on herself those are really the only ones i end up looking at just because i'm just like oh i can now i can work with that you know what i mean where i can mimic that whereas these like i do want to do a video where i'm just trying to but i don't feel like i have the have the space to do that and make it look really good i feel like i was just in the bliss in that way which is okay so this is building so nicely. Like the pigment is just building up and I haven't dipped into the deeper side yet. This is just tan lines. And then I am gonna go ahead and grab a little bit of feel and real just to deepen up that crease a little bit. But yeah, I was excited about this. Yes, it is a steep price, but I will say if I could use it for that many things, I don't know, I was just I was just drawn to this and I haven't bought a palette in forever. I think this is the first Sephora sale where I'm like, no palettes. Like, I really, well, I did buy the Chirco Loco palette, which unfortunately has broken my eyes out like crazy. So 
there is that, but I'm really sad about it, okay? I don't wanna talk about that. Um, but yeah, I really haven't been buying a lot of a lot of palettes lately at all. But yeah, what's the last palette you guys bought? Like, what have you been excited about? I would love to know. So, pretty okay with this. We're gonna move on to a different brush and we're gonna go ahead and deepen up that outer crease with this one right here. So I wanna use the chocolate brown, which if you know me or you've been here, my chocolate browns are definitely my favorite. All right, so we're gonna take that really, really deep chocolatey brown on this side and then it fades into the black. I'll probably use the black more as a liner and he did show ways where like you could get these wet as well and use them as liners, which is really cool because you do have the pinks in here and you have those reds. So I think it's like, you know, as long as you're creative, I think part of it was since he knows paint colors really well from being an artist, like he knew like you might have to think a little bit, but you could figure out a lot of really cool looks with this. And the mirror is so useful. I just keep turning it on its side and I'm like, it's not too heavy. Nothing's falling down. Like the mirror is actually really, really nice, which I always appreciate in a nice palette. Like some mirrors you get and you're just like, well, why'd you even put this in here? Why? And especially for the price point, I'm like, yeah, I, I do expect a lot. <laughs> so we are just packing this on and then I'm gonna take it back up through the crease a little bit higher just to bring my crease up a little bit. I feel like all of a sudden I looked in the mirror and I was like, your eyes are, my eyelids are just getting lower. Like what's happening? But man, have you guys like, Sephora lately, like I'm trying to, you know, I'm shopping the sale and I'm one of those people that like, it's one of my favorite weeks. I love putting things in and taking them out of my cart. I don't necessarily need to spend a lot, but I like that process of just being like, mm, yes, I can afford all this. I can't, you know, but everything is like in and out of stock. I've never seen so many things go out of stock that I'm like, who's even buying? Like why? Like it's not even a new release. Or like going to the store, I've gone in a few times and I'm like, hey, this says it's in stock here. And they're like, it's not. And I'm just like, the app is lying to me and I don't appreciate it. Oh, what a pretty color. I know it's so basic, but I, I really love browns like these. And I'm just gonna kind of take it up. That way it doesn't turn my eyes down even more. But everything is blending so well and it's so nice and buildable which I really, really appreciate. So, so far, I'm really liking this. I'm gonna take that deeper shade in just a little bit more. Okay, so now that I am done with that part, I'm going to take just the tiniest touch of that white and just do an overall like blend at the top. I don't want like an actual brow bone highlight. I just don't, it's just not my personal preference anymore, but I just wanna go through and kind of just blend out all my lines before I go in with the lid shade. Obviously I'm not a like super matte person. I generally like a shimmer on the lid, um, but I'm getting more used to them. You know, it's, it's, it's a work in progress. All right, so on a flat brush, I am going to grab this Love Kills, so the red shade, and I'm going to pack that on the lid. So I'm gonna start off pretty, because so far these are so buildable, so I'm gonna start off pretty intense and like go right in with that that red. And like I said, I kind of want it to be intense. So I'm just going to pack that on and I'll probably have to layer this quite a bit, which I'm totally fine with. I'd rather have this than go in and be like, oh my gosh. I brought powder to, you know, set my under eyes just in case like there was, there was fallout. Man, I even got my sponge wet. Um, I remember it for once and I totally forgot I was too excited, but nothing. I'm having no issues right now with fallout. I probably should have said that at the end and not right now. All right, so we're just building up that color. I'm trying to do packing motions rather than swiping so that it builds up a little bit faster. Mm -hmm. I haven't done it like a red like this in forever. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and flip my brush over. I'm gonna use the lighter side just so it creates like that gradient. I'm not gonna pack it as strongly so that it kind of fades into that deeper, deeper red. All right, for my waterline, I'm gonna grab Anger Mood. This is from Linda Hallberg. And I'm just going to do the center. I don't wanna do it too much, 
because obviously like red is such an intense color and like I'm not trying to do like a vampire look you know um I still have to go to work so and then we are going to go on a flat brush into that intra shade and maybe a little bit of the black and just kind of go straight towards the lash line and just connect it up all right, and then on a little brush, I'm going to go back in with tan lines, which is that first one we used, and just smoke it out a little bit more. And then for my inner corner, I'm going to grab just a little bit of the white, just to give a little inner corner highlight through there. And I think I'm good with the eyes. So now let's try a few things on the face. I think the wet paint color. So it's just a little bit, it's obviously leaning a little bit more towards the yellow for my skin tone. I think I could probably use the lighter side pretty easily um, to set my under eye because I haven't done that because I thought I was going to put powder there. So I'm going to go ahead. And like I said, I don't know if I would always do this, like where I'd use this palette for everything, but definitely on days where I just need to get things done and like not trying to look around for a million things. I'm just going to take it down a little bit, create a little triangle. And that looks fine. That works for my complexion just fine. All right, and then I'm gonna take this Wayne Goss brush. I'm gonna dip into the Feel Real shade, like on this side, and tried, and just do a little bit of contouring. So very lightly, because I don't know how this is gonna go. Perfectly fine. I'm so happy about this. Like I said, I really like that I can, even a brush this size, I can dip into here and not feel like it's getting into any of the other shades. I will say though, like I'm someone who, like I have to break a palette in first. I don't think I would go in with like a wet brush in the new year future. Like I'm so scared of that. I would probably like spray my brush after because I'm just not, I'm just, I just don't like doing that for a new palette. I'm like, no, it looks so gorgeous right now that I don't think I can. And just like the eyeshadow, which I said I'm totally fine with, I'm just gonna build it up a little bit, but this is giving me a perfect color. Like I don't even, I can go in with bronzer if I want to. Do I feel like I have to? No. Especially if you're trying to do like more of a natural look, I think you're totally fine just doing, just doing this. And then I'm going to go around the jawline. I'm gonna grab my little baby Wayne Goss brush, little broomsticks. Just take it right underneath my lip. Take just the tiniest bit. Like I said, I don't really love to contour my nose, so I'm just gonna take the littlest bit here. To Hindish's voice is like so calming. I love his tutorials just because I'm like, oh, they put me in a nice relaxing mood. <laughs> um, and then we are gonna go through here. I would love to know who's your guys' favorite voice. Like there's people where I just like, I just like your voice. Like, a, like not the only thing I like about you, but I do, I do really look for people with like calming voices where I'm just like, oh, it's so nice to listen to. Yet I feel like, you know, Fiona from Shrek. So, oh, I'm really liking this. And then lastly, let's go in with some blush. Ah. <sighs> I'm going to be very light handed because I like this look so much that I'm like, and my eyes are a little bit more intense. I will probably go in. I'll probably actually take the black liner. So I'm going to take Boy Wonder, this pink one. And like I said, I'm going to go really lightly just because you guys know I'm not. I'm getting into blush. I'm moving there. We're, we're, we're getting there, but not quite there where I like a really intense blush. That works fine for me. I'm happy with this whole application <laughs> um so lastly I'm gonna just take the blush up a little a little higher uh, let's see here I'm gonna go back in with my flat definer I'm gonna go in for the actual black and I'm just gonna use that as the eyeliner I will go in the mirror though I kind of like need both hands for that I'm not gonna lie okay um <laughs> Just to give myself some definition. My poor eyelashes after doing extensions, like they're just on their road to like recovery. So I kind of just leave them alone, even though I look a little crazy. I'm like, I put such a light layer of mascara because I'm like, please, um, 
they just need more love, you know, right now. A little, little, little more attention than normal. But yeah, actually I can do that from here. That's going to be fine. All right, so here is the final look. So like I said, I didn't, the only thing I layered on was, I did put on a little bit of highlight because I was just like, you know, I need a little bit of shiny. Um, but other than that, like I left it as is. I don't feel like I really need to layer a bronzer on top. Like obviously you could, but I didn't feel the need to or layer anything else. So the only thing else I put on was some lip products. So I'll list them down below. Overall though, I'm really happy that I... I was definitely like, I was like seventy dollars. It is a pricey palette. Okay, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit here and say like it's not. For the amount of stuff you could do with it, I feel like I can justify that price point. I feel like, you know, if the pans were smaller and like if I couldn't get my brushes in there, that would be a whole different story. But I really like this. I think you can create so many different looks with this, and this is definitely something where I feel like it could save you a lot of room in your beauty. Like, I can take out a lot of palettes just because now I'm like, okay, I have every basic shade that I need, and then I'll probably, like, reach for my shimmers type thing. So, and like I said, if you're, you know, obviously if you're a makeup artist, this is going to be great for you. For the average consumer, though, like me, I still really enjoyed this. Like, everything was blendable, and it didn't, like, pack a horrible punch where you were just like, oh my gosh, I put on way too much. Everything was smooth and buildable. And I think that you would be adding to your collection with this. This is definitely something where I feel like overwhelmingly like best of the year so far where I'm just like, I'm happy with this purchase. So obviously I want to do more looks with it, but right now I have nothing to complain about. Like I like the mirror. I like the packaging. I will say the only thing is just price point. It was on the expensive side. And then in terms of like shipping, of course it took a little bit longer. It's not shipping from the US, it's shipping from the Middle East. And I will say, I really appreciate it, especially because the price point, they offered free shipping. I don't know if they're still doing that, um, but that was something where I was like, oh, I can't wait to see what he comes out with next. But like, you know, obviously those price points come into, I always take shipping into like accountability where I'm like, I wanted the palette, but if it was gonna be like $20 for shipping, I probably would have been like, no, thank you. Um, so I hope that those are gonna be really affordable, but I can't wait, like, congratulations, Sindash. Like, I gave this like 10 out of 10 review. Like, I don't usually do that. And my only thing is just, yeah, it is on the expensive side. So there's that. I, I'm not, still a little hard to swallow, okay? But um, I think that you get way more than what you would originally see in this, like for, for the amount of pans, it's still a really good size. And because there's so much variety in here that I'm like, I can get so many looks out of this. So I am overall just excited to see what else he comes out with. You guys know me, I would love some shimmers to accompany this palette. Like if he could do a shimmer version, I'd be there in a second. So I'm really excited to see what else he comes out with. This is probably one of the most exciting releases from a newer brand that I've seen in a while. I think I'm a little like burnt out of a lot of products this year where I'm just like, I don't need a million. Um, even though I have a million eyeshadow palettes. So, um, but like, I'm like cream blushes now. I'm just like, even though I've been loving creams, I'm just like, they're just everywhere. So anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbering on. Let me know what your guys' thoughts are. Did you pick this up? Are you planning on picking it up? I would love to hear it. And like I said, congratulations to him. I think that this Beautopsy palette is going to be something I reach for on a daily basis and I will really get my use out of. So when I look at buying new products now, I'm more so like, what am I gonna actually use and get my money out of? And what is something where I just initially feel like it's pretty and then like once the excitement passes, I totally forget about it, you know? Whereas this, I'm just like, no, I'll use this all the time without a doubt. So I'm, I'm happy with it. But yeah, that is it for me. Please be subscribe, hit that like button. I would really appreciate it. And bye guys.